Hey guys and welcome to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel. In the last tutorial I showed you how you can create several edited by animations with After Effects. But as you may know After Effects is a paid software so you have to pay for it. And today I will show you how you can create an edited by animation with DaVinci Resolve which is a completely free software. And our final product will look like this. So free. So free. Little guardy. Oh, headshot sniped. First of all, you obviously need DaVinci Resolve and a template that you can download in the description. And uh, then you open up DaVinci Resolve. And once you've downloaded all these, uh, open DaVinci Resolve and click on Untitled Project. Then go into the edit tab right here and uh, go to effects and drag in a fusion composition. And first of all, you want to go to your settings in the lower right corner and uh, change both frame rates to 60. It will just look way better. Then go into the fusion tab. Uh, delete the media output and uh, drag in the template you've uh, downloaded in the beginning of the video. So just like that and this may look a little bit confusing in the first place but it isn't that confusing at all. So uh, first of all you want to go to your instance text. Uh, go to uh, this style text and rename it to your name. So my name is Mikrai, So uh, that's why I will name it Mikrai. And then you can hover over the text and click the right button. And do the same thing for the text but click the left button so that we can have it here. Now we can zoom in by pressing Ctrl and uh, scrolling in with our mouse wheel. And do the same thing here. And now we can start masking but we have one problem because we have four mask paints here and five letters here. So uh, we go to our text and press control and spacebar and search for mask paint right here and click on add and now we have five mask paints. And yeah, now we can start masking. Just click on any mask you want and uh, click on this thing right here and we can even zoom in a little more. By the way, you can move in this by uh, pressing your or by holding your middle mouse button and yeah now you want to mask your letters uh, so that everything's selected right here and yeah just try to go through the middle of each letter and yeah i will do this real quick you can also create let me show you this create curves by holding your left uh, mouse button but I don't think we, we need this right here so I think we have everything selected and you also have to pay attention that your mask isn't too close to another letter so for example if you put the mask here you already see that it touches the eye so we don't want that and now um, when you've finished with that go to brush controls and uh, turn down the softness to zero. And yeah, now we basically have to do this for every letter. And of course you need to select another mask paint if you want to uh, mask another letter. But uh, let me do this real quick. So and now that I've masked all the letters, uh, we can start keyframing and you basically have to do this for every mask paint. So go to any mask paint you want and then go to stroke controls and go to frame uh, 45 and click on this diamond right here. That's a keyframe and do this for every mask paint. And now we'll go back to frame number zero and uh, turn this 
if I decrease it to zero. It will automatically create a keyframe for you if you change the value on another frame. And yeah, now we can already watch the animation right here. But you may notice that we have some other issues. For example, uh, this mask is too close to the R, so I will drag this right here. And I really don't like the animation of the eye uh, yet. So I will go back to this and first I only want this to show up. So let me drag this right here and for the eye I think I will decrease the size of the mask a little bit. So just like that. So and now you can see it starts right here. And yeah, that's pretty smooth, I think. And uh, now you want to go to spline, select here, uh, select all tools, press on this thing right here and select all these points and simply click on F and you can deselect spline and uh, you can delete the instance text as well. And on the right you can see the media output and this is our final animation. If you want to change the colors, you can click on this background, but I will keep the white right here because it just looks the best. Maybe you want to add an edited by text and you can easily do this by going to the edit tab. And then you want to go to the frame where it starts writing. So you can use your arrow keys to move one frame forward or one frame backward. And right here the animation stops. So I will go to this frame right here and uh, drag in a text. You can go to titles and drag in a text. Double click on it and uh, write edited by. Change the size to 35 and change the font to the Troika. Then press on this thing right here to reposition the text. Put it wherever you like. I put it here. And of course you can duplicate the layer by pressing Alt and dragging it above and like writing your uh, Twitter ad right here. But I personally don't like this. And now we also want to add a video animation for the text so that it fades in a little bit. So just add spiral vibe to the beginning of the text and uh, decrease the length to 20. Yeah, this should look fine. I think we can re even put this text to this point right here. I think this looks nice as well uh, now we still need uh, the animation to fade out so we will select the fusion composition and the text click uh, right click on it and select new compound clip name it whatever you like and that's basically to nest the clips and now we can add another transition uh, it's called zoom through these are transitions from a uh, transition pack a YouTuber created. I will link him down in the description. And these transitions are really helpful, so I would recommend you to use them. And yeah, so just drag and zoom through. And now that we have our animation, we obviously need to export it. So go to deliver, uh, rename it to whatever you like. and uh, select your location where you want it to be saved. Select QuickTime for the format and put the frame rate to 60. Then go to Add to Render Queue and press on Start Render. And now you're wondering how to add this into a program. So in DaVinci Resolve, for example, 
you can go to the editing tab yeah and now it's just black but uh, you can go to fusion click on uh, control spacebar again and search for a delta key add it so add the delta key and change both colors to black and now this should be transparent and if you go back you see that it's transparent and another thing that you can do in order to make your intro stand out even more is to add some effects onto your clip so you can double click on it and uh, go to open fx and uh, first of all search for uh, gaussian blur you can use any blur you want but i prefer this one and then you go to inspector and go to the frame where it stops writing right here and uh, set the keyframe right here and set a keyframe uh, for both of these by clicking this diamond right here again and i would decrease the amount of blur to uh, 0 0.3 around this and uh, then go to the frame where the end animation starts and set another keyframe and then go to the end of uh, the animation by using your arrow keys once again so it stops here and uh, decrease the th uh, amount blur to zero and go to the beginning and change the amount of blur to zero I personally also like it when the uh, gameplay gets a little bit darker and for this we can simply uh, do the same thing with the opacity that's right here so in the beginning set it to 100 when it stops writing set it to 70 or something then go to the point where the end animation starts set another keyframe and go to the end of the animation and set it to 100 again so now we have this animation yeah and that's about it i really hope i could help you and if i could please consider to subscribe to this youtube channel and of course don't forget to smash that like button on this video have fun with the new animation bye bye